Hello, good people of YouTube. Mount Batten here. And today, we are talking about what many are claiming is the new, most busted, broken, OP, whatever you want to call it, ship in the game. The Tier 10 British aircraft carrier, the Malta. The Malta was first put on sale a few weeks ago for the tune, I think, a hundred and what? A hundred and thirty, forty, fifty dollars worth of doubloons for early access to the Malta, but now she's out for 268,000 coal. So she is a freemium ship. Now, the Malta has quite a few rather interesting things about her. She has a lot of characteristics that are shared with the uh, British CVs, but then some things are quite different. Now, the source of most of the attention that is being brought toward the Malta is by far her bombs. Now, she does have carpet bombs, just like the British CVs. However, unlike the British CVs, the Techline CVs, they are not HE, but rather AP. And you drop 20 of these suckers in a run. And there's three attacking flights in each flight. So, that's a lot of firepower you bring to bear with the carpet bombs. Now, besides the carpet bombs, she's also equipped with torpedoes and, of course, rocket planes. The torpedo planes drop four torps in a run. And they are capable of doing the funny um, Roosevelt... 360 no scope turn that the FDR can do. They can do that as well once you get the reticle fully charged up or fully lined up, whatever you want to call it. And then she's also equipped with the attack planes, which have a shorter than normal machine gun run up before their rockets fire. And she does also fire a large number of rockets. So, right there, it sounds like a pretty good deal. Now, the bombs as well, if you've been on the receiving end of these, they hurt. They hurt like hell. And if you've been on the receiving end of these in a light cruiser, you've probably been citadeled by them once or twice or several dozen times. Perhaps these bombs are fully capable of absolutely nuking light cruisers off of the map. Especially cruisers like the Janan, the Minotaur, those types of light cruisers that barely have any armor. They will absolutely obliterate you. Now, the torpedoes, their strengths come from, well, dropping four of them and being able to do the 360 no-scope turn with the torps. The planes themselves are really maneuverable, and the torps do also have a very short run-up on them. So you can do all types of crazy things with these torps and still get them on target fairly easily. And the rocket planes, because they have that short machine gun time and they do fire a large number of rockets, it is, again, fairly easy to get hits on target. However, it's not all good, and this is something that happens a lot with this game and, and games in general, or life in general too. When you see one side of something, you normally see it as what you have seen it as. If you've been playing light cruisers or battleships or cruisers that have been getting dumped on by the Malta's carpet bombs for you know 10-12k a, a run, yeah you can see the Malta is a pretty busted ship. But there is more to it than that. So let's start with her most prominent feature, which is the carpet bombs. Now, to be clear, I don't think this is actually the, the main armament of the Malta. This is a, a, a definitely the second best one and definitely one you want to use as much as you can. But I actually think the torpedoes are better than the carpet bombs and let's get into that so first off the planes of the Malta across the board they do have a large HP pull they're not quite FDR levels of insane but they do have a large H HP pull and they do also have a fairly quick reload time if you build into it easily under 60 seconds um, I believe the torpedoes have a 54 second regen rate and then the uh, no sorry the the rocket planes have a 54 second regen rate and then I believe the uh, bombers and then the torpedo bombers have like a 64 second region rate so again 60 second region rate built into it you're under 60 seconds on all of your planes which is very 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 good now with that going for them they're also quite slow they are not again like soviet cv slow but they are on the slower side and the bombs. The way they're set up is pretty interesting themselves. So it's kind of like the Aquila. 
how the bombs have very little pin, but they have improved pin angles. That's how the Aquila's rocket planes are set up. Which means that they're kind of like SAP. If you guys remember my Aquila review, we talked about the uh, rocket planes and how they're quite interesting because it's quite easy to get good, consistent damage out of them, but you aren't sidling the crap out of cruisers like you would with the uh, German CVs with their AP rockets. But again, in the right situation, with the right ship, with the right armor scheme, lightly armored uh, cruisers, even battle cruisers, you could citadel them. And the Aquila does fire a large number of rockets as well. So now I'll apply that to the bombs on the Malta here, and that's pretty much what you have as well. You have bombs that do, per bomb, actually really low damage. But because you're dropping 20 of these suckers on the target, if you manage to connect most of those, you're easily, again, easily doing like 13, 14, 15k. Uh, again, if you manage to sit at all the thing, like if you're running up on a Janan, a, a Minotaur, something like that, you can, again, sit at all them and remove half of their health in one run very easily. Or if you get very lucky with your roll, potentially just nuke them out of the match. Now, the caveat to this is that you have to be sitting pretty still for this to work. Or be in a very large, unmaneuverable ship, like a, uh, a Soviet large cruiser, or one of the super cruisers. Like, well, not, okay, not one of the super cruisers, one of the large cruisers. I forget that you know, we don't call those super cruisers anymore, because Wargaming wouldn't actually add it in super cruisers. So, you know, large cruisers like the Stalingrad, Yoshino, so forth and so on. And this match, you should see me uh, in early on in the game. I do this to Yoshino, and yeah, I chuck him for like 15k. That's a no in, in, in a Yoshino. I've, um, shoot, there, there's a poor Janan that even with a, a completely trash run up I had on him, I got like six citadels off on him with the, um, bombers in two runs. Poor dude. <laughs> but again, if you are mo moving and maneuvering, it, it will mitigate the effect of these bombs because, you know, you, you don't get to charge up the reticle that well. And when you start moving, the reticle starts going all over the place. And if you do manage to avoid most of the bombs, it, again, isn't really that much damage if you just eat one or two of these bombs. Again, unless you're in a, an extremely light cruiser like that. But that being said, because you do drop so many, it's pretty easy for not the best CV players like myself, to still get pretty good consistent damage out of this. So when they are in the hands of an actual good CV player, these bombers, yeah, I can definitely see how it'll be pretty painful to experience. But the bombers don't have, of course, a damage over time like the HE bombs do. And if you do find yourself in a situation where you, you run across players that are paying attention and are maneuvering as hard as they can when you show up, it is going to be pretty tricky to do, again, for the average Joe. For, you know, the super unit come CV players, well, they can make anything work, let alone this. Now, also, I just want to say this right here, too. When I was playing this ship, okay, I don't know what it is. When I'm playing a surface ship, like when I, when I break up my GK or something, something with not, with not the best AA, I got maybe two AA ships on my team. When I play this CV, for some reason, for like the two or three hours I was playing this ship after stream, um, everyone had a Minotaur or two on their team, along with a Wooster and a Janan and an Austin, and it's like, okay, okay game, I see how it is. But that being said, it's where one of the big strengths come in that we'll talk about here in a minute. Now, the Torpedo Bombers. These guys, I think, are what you should most definitely be using the most. They're a good consistent source of damage and they have a lot of the downsides that I'm used to with the German torpedoes well with the Graf Zeppelin torpedoes they're slow the torps go 35 knots they are well the reticle isn't the greatest because it, it's a divergent reticle rather than just a, a straight reticle like the uh, German CVs or a converging reticle like the tech line British CVs so that does kind of suck, but besides that, you're throwing four torpedoes out there with darn good alpha. It wasn't uncommon for me to, again, easily do 13, 14, 15 K if all four torpedoes did hit. Now, again, they're slow, but once you get used to them, you can easily get them to hit the target. At least, I'd say, three out of the four torpedoes. Uh, again, unless it's just you and the other ship and they're not being a, um, a dum-dum and ignoring the 
the situation around them, if they're maneuvering hard, then yeah, that's going to be a little bit more difficult to get on target, because again, the torpedoes are quite slow, but against battleships and cruisers, it it's very easy to do good, consistent damage with these torpedoes. They have a short run-up, the planes are very maneuverable, and again, you can do the 360 no-scope FDR turn with these torps as well once you get the reticle fully charged. So they're great in my opinion, and what I was definitely banking on uh, as I got more and more into my Malta game session. Now, uh, the replay you're watching right now is actually the second game I had in the Malta, <laughs> so... Yeah, it's, it's the most entertaining of the games that I had tonight. Uh, it, it's patch week, and it's patch weekend as well. So as I'm sure most of you are, are well aware, the teams are um, of varying quality tonight, shall we say. So moving on to the rocket planes now. How are these guys? Well, they are kind of like the bombs. There's a lot of them. They have a very large reticle per, per rocket. Don't really do that much damage. Have a bit a higher than average fire rate. And yeah, that, that that's the Malta rockets. They are actually some of the better rockets that I've played with in this game. Uh, most of the time, the rockets with CVs are like either utterly useless or amazing. These are... I'd say pretty good, leaning toward amazing. I'd hesitate to call them amazing because the, the uh, planes themselves have a very short engine boost time, which seems to be a common thing with rocket planes. But the short run-up with the guns definitely helps a lot. You can go after more nimble and um, lighter ships like destroyers and light cruisers a bit more um, aggressively with these planes. But the reticle is very large, so in some ways it helps because, of course, larger the reticle larger area that your rockets cover but again per rocket the damage isn't really too too high uh, but the fire chance seems to be very good I didn't really have any trouble starting fires with these rockets um, I wouldn't say it's exactly a flamethrower but I would say it is above average when it comes to that department now besides that which if you go through and with all the armaments that the Malta has they're all very good at doing consistent damage there's not a lot of like the old CV uh, just out of CV re uh, re uh, rework type of damage where it's like it does 30 or 25k to you. Um, the only instance of that is happening is again if you're a very light cruiser, Shadon, Minotaur levels of no armor, and you're sitting still and you get dumped on by the dive bombers. I'm sorry, by, by the carpet bombers. That's about it. Everything else is just good, consistent damage. Which, considering, you know, how a lot of CVs go, they have two squadrons that are normally quite strong, and then a third squadron that normally isn't that great. In the Malta's case, all three of her squadrons are strong. I wouldn't say any of them are crazy strong, they're just strong. And I guess they try to balance that out by having large reticles that, for the most part, the Armament, the armaments don't really do that many damage per unit, except for the torpedoes. So, when you have someone like me that's not the best CV player ever, I'm still able to do decently well. The, this CV does have a pretty low skill floor, definitely. So, between the um, large amount of arm, arm, armament being dropped, and then the plane's uh, regen rate is also very, very, very low as well. So, someone like me that's not the best player ever, I'm able to do consistent damage in it, I'm able to keep my planes in the air, and if you look in the video in the background, I didn't re redo that good of a job between juggling between the three squadrons. I was mostly focusing on the carpet bombers and the torpedo bombers. I would every now and then send out the rocket planes, and as I kept going on to the night, I would start juggling it a bit better, because I realized, oh, these rocket planes don't suck like most other CVs in the game. They're actually pretty darn decent. So, I think that's what it is with Malta. It doesn't have a bad squadron. All three squadrons are quite good at what they do, and you can reliably use them against every class just about. And the carpet bombers, shoot, the area that they cover, you can easily, easily dump on DDs with this thing, even though they're AP bombs. Uh, the torpedo bombers, battleships, cruisers, light cruisers, easily can be dealt with with these torpedoes. Uh, DDs might be a bit more of a challenge, but again, I'm sure if you dedicate yourself to it with four tor with four torpedoes and throwing four torpedoes out there, you can 
I'm sure, make a DD run into one one way or another. And the rocket planes, short machine gun run up, large reticle, large amount of rockets, very good fire chance. <laughs> What's not to like there? So, is it ungodly, broken, busted, yada, yada, yada? No, I wouldn't say it's that good. That still, that crown is still firmly in, in the Nakamov's court. Um, Nakamov, I, I can easily have been do, been doing it in, in these battles. Probably 50 or 60k more damage because of the skip bombers and the torpedoes and her rockets are absolutely insane. It's not that good. It's one of the better CBs right now in my mind. Absolutely. I'd be even willing to say it's like shot shoot out of the cvs that i've played like the second or third best cv that i currently have and i do have enterprise in my in my uh port as well so yeah it's a very good cv it's 268,000 coal one i would recommend you pick up if you are looking for a british cv um it's got a very low skill floor like i've said i'd be, I'd be lying to you and, say, and if i told you guys this isn't a good cv it is it, it's just not quite what it's made out to be. I mean, hey, if you got the coal, take it out, play it, and see for yourself. I understand it's not exactly like a like a, a, a research ship that you can you know grind in a couple of weeks to see if you like it. And you know if you don't like it, you know well you lost some time, but you know you didn't lose anything crazy like coal or steel. But it it, it is a coal ship. It is good. It, it is it is absolutely good. She's very strong. And in my mind, honestly, they could probably hit the uh, plane regenerate with a bit of a nerf bat. Because there were some matches when I was absolutely throwing my planes away. And I didn't have a problem with planes. At all. So, yeah, I'll say that. Her, her plane regenerate is a bit much for planes that are this healthy. That is very true. But other than that, I think they actually did a pretty good job with her. The, the dive bombers, I'm sorry, the carpet bombers, you have to let that reticle charge up. And the enemy ship has to be sitting still for you to get some crazy numbers off of it. Other than that, if you're maneuvering, for the most part, again, unless you're a battleship. But, I mean, if you're a battleship, you get dumped on by anything with uh, dive bombers. I mean, midway, audacious. Well, anything with bombers in general <laughs> with a decent reticle. Battleships always get dumped on by them, so I don't think that should be any big surprise to Battleship players. That's coming from a Battleship player. Trust me, I know. I've been abused by these things for the past six, seven years. I, I know how they operate, and I know what it's like to get hit by them. So, guys, that's my two cents on the Malta. A, a very strong carrier, but not the most broken thing in the game. Again, Nakamov still has that title firmly in record. Or Eagle. Yeah, e Eagle's way nuttier than, than this thing. Granted, that is a super ship, so... Depending on how you want to count that, that's up to you. So guys, let me know what you guys think about the Malta in the comments down below. If you had a chance to play her, let me know what you think. If you had a chance to run into her, which I'm sure most of us have, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Hope to catch you guys in the next one.